I'm back and I have rinsed out my conditioner after letting it sit in for a while. And I'll just leave it at that. So, brr, aren't I sexy? Yes, I, I know. <laughs> I know. So now I'm about to put in my leave-in, which is the Kimmy Tube leave-in. I find that I need this to seal my cuticle and it works very well at doing so. So I'll just apply this to the twist while they're still in. I left the last row on both sides out. And at this time I will remove the twist by just a little bit more leaving. And I'm back with my naked ear holes again, so sorry. But I normally do not have worn earrings <laughs> when I'm doing my hair, so you're getting it in the raw. And I just run the comb through it right quick because we already know it's detangled because I detangled it back before I began washing. Put that into a twist. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm just sectioning off where those plaits are going to be. And for this, Bobby. Bobby! My daughter is downstairs rocking Katy Perry. Ugh. And this will be the hair that I lost for the wash, the condition, and for that detangle. Let me stick it to my hand. And I will show you how I have it sectioned. I've got this front section because it's not too hard to work with. But in the back where I can't see, I need to section it a little bit better. So I've got my bottom row. This will be two plaits. My middle row, this will be probably three, maybe four plaits. And this top row, which will be two here, two here, and two here. And on the sides, I normally end up with one on the bottom, one on the bottom, uh, one here, one here, one here, one here, here, and there. And this is my part that I normally do when I do my hair ever. I'm always parting down the middle. Don't exactly know why. It just works out that way. And it helps to cover up my grays when the gray color starts to come back, as you can see. I'm working on right now, and it's time for another henna treatment. Get rid of those pesky grays. But at least I know my hair is growing because I can see it with the gray. And I will come back after about, like I said, 10 minutes of letting this marinate up in my hair. And then we're going to rock this funky joint, making those plaits. Okay, I'm back. It's been about 10 minutes. And I am missing basketball wise. So I will be speeding this up so that I can hear and pay attention to basketball wives. It's one of those guilty pleasures, something I'm not really proud of. But I watch it. So as you can see, got these two sections here. One and two. This will be a plaque, this will be a plaque. So I'll start off showing you how I put these in and then I'm going to switch to fast forward. 
So what I got here, I always keep my water bottle nearby in case I need to re-wet. I'm using the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, the bottom of the container, but of course you know I have a whole nother one. Who would I be if I didn't? And I'll be topping that off with aloe vera gel. I put that in this little container so I can get it out easily. And on top, I've got my oil mix. And I really have no idea what's in here. I can't tell by smelling it either. I just know I put a bunch of oils in this container and they in there. And I'm gonna put them in my hair to seal in the moisture when I'm working on these plaits. So here we go. I'm gonna use the Demon brush that I have modified where every other row is missing. And I just make sure I distribute this through my hair. Then I plait. Start the plait off really, really loose. Because I'll be sleeping with these and I can't have my hair tugging. So you see I'm loose at the very beginning. And then I go full force. And when I get down to this end here, take the brush again, make sure my ends are smooth so I can get a nice smooth finish. Dab a bit more um, aloe vera gel. And then I twist. And then I twist it around my finger, like so. So there's my plait. So I'm twisted, I'm plaited to here, from there down, I'm twisted. And there we go. And like I said, I'll be back when I am in the front so you can see better. And so I can watch Basketball Wives. So I can pretend when everybody's talking about it, like I don't watch it and I don't know what's going on. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, yup, <laughs> them chicks is tricky. All right. So as promised, I am back with the last section that needs to be plaited. And I'll just follow my normal path because this is the way that I always put them in whether they be braids or twists. Somehow the path always ends up the same. So, I need to re-up my aloe vera gel. Rub that on. Distribute it through. And about a finger full of the Curl and Anton smoothie. Not a finger, a fingertip. A finger would be an awful lot. And seal it all in with my oil mix. And then go over it with this here, Demon Brush. Distribute everything through. And braid it up. I'm terrible at making the sections even, so I don't really try all the time. I do my best. And I start off loosely there at the root, and then I get tighter for the length of the braid.
when I get down to the bottom, grab my brush again, smooth out my ends so I don't have a frizz ball at the bottom. That's really not hot. And I twist. Some people put the sections together. Sometimes I do, sometimes I just make a new section. And there we go. So that is that, and the braids are all done. I will put a scarf on this tonight, just to tie these things down, so when I wake up in the morning, they're not all willy-nilly. And I will pull them out with a little coconut oil, as you've seen me do before, and I will leave them alone. I will include a picture at the end, just so you can see what the end result was. Even though you've seen an end result braid out before, you'll see the end result of this here wash day breed out and until next time happy transition